Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the most elegant floral rose spray cake, which you're not going to believe me when I tell you, it's actually so easy to make. So I'm actually going to make this cake out of polystyrene, so it's a fake cake. Um, and to do that, you're just going to take vegetable shortening and you're just going to brush that or rub that all over your polystyrene block. You can get these at cake stores or I actually get mine online. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So yeah, it's not the most um, enjoyable job, but you're just going to rub that shortening all over the cake. You can use water, but I find shortening is better because the water evaporates too quickly. So spread them on the top two and then I like to take the palm of my hand and rub that around the side of the cake to sort of smooth off the shortening so we've just got a thin layer and also do that on the top of the cake too. Now to let's talk fondant, so you're just going to sprinkle some icing sugar onto your work surface and then add on your fondant, you need to knead this beforehand. A bit more icing sugar on the top to stop the rolling pin from sticking and then I'm going to take my silicon rolling pin, which is supposedly non-stick, and you're just going to roll that out. I like to do one or two rolls and then turn the fondant to make sure I'm doing it evenly. If you get any air bubbles like this, which is completely natural, just take a pin, a clean one, pop the air bubble and push out the air and then continue rolling. You want to roll this out till it's about eighth of an inch thick and you want to make sure it's big enough to cover the whole of your cake. So once you're happy with the size and thickness of your fondant, you're going to roll that up over your rolling pin, move your cake into position, lift the fondant up and then you're going to gently but quickly roll it out over your cake. And then you want to work really fast here, you want to smooth off the top and then you want to secure that top edge to the cake because that's the most vulnerable place where it's going to crack and tear. Once you've done that, you want to lift up any pleats you've got in your fondant, and you will have quite a lot, and you want to gently rub those into the side of the cake. As I said, you want to work quite quickly here, because if you take it too long, the weight of the fondant is going to drag and pull the cake, and it's going to start to rip, especially on polystyrene cakes. So just keep going around, gently pressing all that fondant into the side of the cake. Then just take a sharp knife, and you're just going to trim off the excess. We're not trimming it flush to the cake here, we're just taking off the major bits of excess. So once you've trimmed off that major excess, you're going to take your two fondant smoothers and we're going to rub one on the side and one on the top of the cake. This is going to do two things, it's going to flatten out all those surfaces, it's also going to give you a really sharp edge to the cake. So do that all the way around. And then take a fondant smoother with a sharp corner and you're going to press that corner into that fondant onto the cake board and then trim that off with a knife. You want to repeat this with a 10 inch, an 8 inch, a 6 inch and a 4 inch cake. You're also going to need some royal icing to assemble it and a serving platter. So we're going to spread some of that royal icing onto your cake stand. You could also use a cake board here if you wanted, but a cake stand just really takes it to the next level. Then we're going to place on top our 10 inch layer. Now it helps here if you make your cakes a couple of days in advance, it gives that fondant time to firm up a little bit, which means handling them is a lot easier. Spread on another little layer of that royal icing, and then we're going to top it with our 8 inch layer. Press that down, more royal icing, you get the drill by now. Now if you want to do this with actual edible cake, which of course you can, I will leave a link in the description box below on how to ice a cake and then you can just do the same thing that I did with fondant. If you were to do this with real cake, make sure you add cake dowels. Now you're going to take some ribbon, I've chosen this nice ivory ribbon. You're going to measure that end against the circumference of your cake, mark it with your finger and then trim it off. If you have any of these like weird patches, you want to make sure that's the back of your cake and you're going to pin that fondant with just a pin into your, the bottom of your cake. Then wrap that around the side. And then secure that with another pin. You want to make sure this overlaps. If you have any of these like stringy bits, make sure you trim them off before you attach to the cake. So overlap those pieces of ribbon and you're just going to add a little pin in there to secure it into place. And then just repeat the same process with your eight inch your six inch and your four inch cake layers. Now this cake is really versatile. You could by all means experiment with any different colors you wanted. I've chosen this ivory ribbon as I said, which I thought would give it a bit of contrast between the red and the white roses. But if you were going for a completely different color scheme, you could add whatever color ribbon you wanted. So now let's talk flowers. I got these, and these are actually fake roses. Um, I got these in Poundland, believe it or not. It's really great to go after Valentine's Day because they're all reduced. And we're just going to trim off those roses. You're going to leave quite a bit of stem for now because we can trim it down later. Also make sure you choose roses that have wires in the stem rather than it's just plastic stem because that's going to allow us to push those into the cake and it's going to make it a lot firmer. Now if you can't find any roses where you live in shops, you can also get these online. I got these white roses online, um, pretty cheap, and I'll leave a link in the description box below. So yeah, same as the red ones, just trim off those roses. These white ones also came with a lot more like um, leafy bits and I also had these like white things, I don't know what they're called, but they look really good on the cake. 
So now to assemble, we're going to take um, your roses, and I've chosen six to go on the top. So you're just going to lay those around the cake. Don't press them in or don't trim the stalks. Just lay them on top of each other. So six on the bottom, and then I added three more roses on top of that. Lift off that whole thing carefully, and then you want to trim those stalks down so you've just got a couple of inches, and then bend the wire so it goes straight down. Then you're just going to press that into your cake. You want to go all the way around the top of your cake, around the edge, doing exactly the same thing. So trimming off so you've got a couple of inches, bending the wire and sticking it into the cake. So once you've got that sort of donut of flowers, you want to fill in the centre with those other roses. So now we can work on the side of the cake. So when doing the side of your cake, what you want to do is you want to trim the stem, the same as before, but you're not going to bend it. And then you're just going to position the flower where you want it, and you want to gently push that into the cake. You don't want to do this too fast, otherwise your wire is going to sort of bend and break. So you just do it gently and slowly and support the edge of the cake as you do this. I'm positioning my flowers in sort of this like general flowing sort of wave. This creates a really nice effect. I've gone for mainly the red roses because I had three bunches of red roses and just the one bunch of white roses. So I just had a few dots of white interspersed with the red. Now at first you might think it's not coming together and it looks a bit stupid, but as you keep going and get the general shape more, it's going to look so much better. If you've got any sort of gaps that look a bit bare, just add in a bit of that green foliage. And that is literally it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you try out this cake for yourself, make sure you tag me on social media. You can click here to see my last video and here to see a video randomly selected by YouTube for you.